Hi, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne, and this is a prophecy for Maria uh, C. Uh, you know what your last name is, but I'm just making C so you can uh, find it on YouTube instead of just Maria. I did one for Maria the other day. Uh, so Maria C. Um, I'll just pray and dedicate this to the Lord, uh, dear Father. I pray that uh, you'd give me a prophetic word for Maria, one to bless her, encourage her, and lift her spirits up. In Jesus' name I ask, amen. I see an umbrella on a beach, and I see a, a mother and an older girl, about a six-year-old girl and a four-year-old boy, in the beach and uh, they seem to uh, be resting under the umbrella and uh, the little boy and girl are playing in the sand uh, and not sitting on a towel and uh, it's just an idyllic scene and um, that's who you are to Jesus it represents uh, the idyllic scene that you are to Jesus you're, you're part of his family and uh, just as that's a really nice scene to look upon a young mother with a young daughter and a young boy, it just seems idyllic and beautiful and right. And uh, that's what your relationship with Jesus is. It's idyllic, it's beautiful, and it's right. And uh, it's, a, it's a real uh, pleasure uh, to look upon that scene and... Uh, just so, just as much, it's, it's a real pleasure to uh, bring this prophecy to you, Maria, because uh, the Lord uh, really loves you. Um, everything is in its right place. Um, the mother may be there uh, by herself. Uh, the husband may be in the water swimming. And we don't know where the husband is, but we know that Jesus is real and Jesus is part of your life and uh, that uh, you're the bride of Christ and uh, you're much loved. And uh, I sense that uh, seeing the children there also, the symbolism tells me that, uh, well, shares with me that um, you're going to uh, develop, uh, whether it's now or in the future, you're going to develop the ability to have spiritual children. I, I can see you becoming a spiritual mother uh, and uh, bringing up both males and females uh, and uh, discipling uh, younger Christians uh, in the faith. Um, I sense that um, you're going to teach. Uh, I, I think that... Um, uh, uh, my mother wrote a book called Christian Discipleship Made Simple and it was like a manual as a book with about 14 lessons on uh, the Christian faith and I can see you writing a similar sort of uh, manual uh, for new Christians, uh, teaching them the principles of the Christian faith and uh, I can see you, uh, uh, I, I can see that uh, if you get a pen and paper out and, uh, and wrote down 10 to 15 subjects of, uh, about the Christian faith, uh, I can see that uh, you could almost plan that book now. And uh, I'd encourage you just to simply, um, I've got uh, a book on uh, five keys to writing nonfiction books and I teach uh, how to uh, get 15 subjects uh, for, for your chapters and then uh, dictate 10 to 15 minute uh, uh, chapters and dictate and get it typed up. And uh, I uh, would encourage you to do that. Uh, I, I can really see uh, that book, this Christian discipleship book, um, uh, being produced and I've got a person who can publish them and get them uh, to you once uh, they've been edited and made into a book uh, can get cheap copies to you and I can see you having like uh, 
50 copies of it yourself and running small group classes with, with uh, people learning the Christian faith and di being discipled. And I don't know if your pastor has talked to you about it already. Um, uh, Maria Cruz sounds like you're Spanish. Sorry for saying your name, um, but I'm not sure there's a lot of cruises. Um, uh, I, I'm sure uh, you, you're probably Spanish and uh, uh, you, you could even write the book in Spanish uh, and uh, um, Spanish people tend to have uh, fairly large churches and uh, I can just see you running this school and discipling people. Um, I know if you produced the book and, um, and uh, had your pastor read the manuscript um, and say that you'd like to teach the material, I'm sure that he would encourage you before you got the book actually published. I sense that um, my mother uh, in heaven uh, uh, is in heaven now and people read her book and they buy it on Amazon. And uh, I sense my mother's spirit uh, sort of speaking to me and uh, getting excited that uh, here's another person who's going to disciple people. And uh, I can see you being a spiritual mother and a mentor to people. Uh, I can see you uh, really encouraging people. I can see you writing uh, not only this book, but many books. Um, I, I've uh, self-published 58 books and uh, I've got a, a, a propensity to publish books and I continually uh, having subjects to write about. And uh, I can see you becoming a prolific writer like myself. And uh, I can see you uh, really uh, teaching the body of Christ, the fundamentals of, of the Christian faith and uh, more complex things and profound things and deep things. And uh, I can see you um, really being used by the Lord as, as a teacher, even a prophetic teacher uh, that, uh, that uh, you could move uh, in but be led by the Holy Spirit and speak under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and have like a prophetic edge to your teaching. And uh, I, um, I'm encouraged uh, to, to see that uh, you've got this uh, wonderful uh, idyllic, uh, like we said, the little woman and the ch children, uh, you've got this idyllic uh, relationship uh, with Jesus and everything's uh, right where it should be and everything is right. Uh, you may have had questions about your, your faith. You may have had questions about where you are with Jesus and you're in the perfect place. You're just in this perfect sweet spot uh, with Jesus and uh, he, he adores you and he loves you. Um, I sense that... Uh, uh, you're, you're going to uh, prosper uh, and uh, prosper doesn't necessarily have to be, mean financially. Uh, I prosper because I have the resources uh, to do the things that God has called me to do uh, uh, in my relationships uh, with people. Uh, they're good. Uh, when I meet strangers, uh, I bless strangers and people and encouraged when I meet them in every area of my life, I prosper. And uh, I can see that uh, the, the blessing of the Lord on you. Uh, Psalm 1, 3 says that he should be like a tree planted by the rivers who gives its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, and whatever he does prospers. And uh, I, I can see uh, the Psalm 1, 3 blessing uh, whatever she does prospers uh, manifesting in your life. And I pray uh, for the Psalm 1-3 uh, blessing uh, to manifest in your life. I pray that whatever you turn your hand to will prosper and whatever the Lord leads you to will prosper. And I pray for much success and much edifying of the body of Christ to be done through you as a teacher, as a prophetic teacher, someone uh, to lift people up and encourage people 
and bless people. I pray that uh, the Lord may give you an open heaven and that uh, your life would uh, become very supernatural and uh, you would grow daily in intimacy with Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, uh, amen. So I hope uh, that that was an encouraging prophecy. I hope that uh, you can write to me and give me feedback. God bless.